Hi, writers, readers, and gamers. I'm Christy Stratus, and welcome back to another episode of American McGee's Alice. Today's topic is working on multiple works at a time. Should you or should you not, and how to go about it? So the main thing to say here first is that it's really good to be able to have something else in the background that you're working on besides your main work. And one of the reasons for this is because sometimes you can get stuck on a section or stuck in general on your story, and it can be good to sort of break that by moving on to a whole other different kind of work. My general idea is that it's a very good idea to have multiple ideas, multiple, even just one extra story going at the same time. It doesn't have to be literally parallel, but it can just sort of crop up and you work on it when you get really stuck. Now, I'm not saying to ever abandon something you get stuck on. More what I'm trying to say is that sometimes you need a break. And this happened to me with my most recent book, Lock and Key, which will be out in fall 2016. I had become sort of demotivated to work on this. And one of the reasons was because it had started in a completely different way. This, And I'm going to talk about this in a different video, just how many changes were made to Lock and Key. But it did start out completely different. It took me, it still took me under a year to write, but it took me lo way longer than I had planned. And so by the time it was getting towards when I was getting to the end, but I, I wasn't quite there yet with my second draft, I was sort of stuck, not because I had no ideas, but because I just felt like, is this ever going to actually be finished? At that point, I actually took a break to write a short story, which I then submitted to an anthology. And I have to say that taking a break to write a short story was probably the best thing I could have done because it really took my mind out of being demotivated in general. It took my mind out of the current Go novel that I had flow. been so engrossed in. And I did do. write, you don't have to write something completely different. It can still be in the same genre or historical fiction time period or whatever it is that you're working on. It can be along the same lines. You don't have to completely change course. But in my case, I did write something entirely different and for me I think that was a really good break so it helped me a lot and it did bring my motivation back I had started something new finished it and in a timely manner in like two weeks so that made me feel really really good and then I was really excited to get back into lock and key so that's something I would highly recommend but what about in general what about when you just have so many ideas that you want to get down but you really have one book you're looking at getting out in the near future first of all my number one suggestion is never get so sidetracked that you're not going to end up ever finishing one thing. So that was something that started to happen to me with Anatomy of a Darkened Heart. I had written a decent amount of it, but then I was very excited about writing something totally different. It was It's something that's going to be coming out after the Dark Victoriana collection is finished. It's medieval. It's totally different. But I had started getting some heavy inspiration for that, and I decided I was going to write it parallel to Anatomy of a Darkened Heart. But what happened was I couldn't focus on either long enough to really get anywhere. And so I ended up just deciding I wasn't going to work on the medieval one and that if I wanted to publish one, I had to choose which and it was definitely Anatomy of a Darkened Heart. So that's the one that I ended up going with. And I put the medieval one off to the side, saved it in many, many places. And then I was able to just write down ideas as they came to me, but not dedicate so much time to writing something and perfecting it and really developing the storyline that I would never end up publishing either of them. Maybe you're someone who can work on two things at the same time and still publish them, but for me it would have taken at least an extra year, if not more, to publish. And I really strongly, at least for me, I really strongly doubt I would have published either because I would probably get too frustrated going back and forth and not finishing anything. So I decided to work on Anatomy of a Darkened Heart. And in the meantime, I took all kinds of notes on the medieval one. And when I say notes, that can really be anything at all. First of all, I keep Pinterest for it just in case I see something interesting that I think is inspirational. I have a notebook dedicated to it. And so if I think of a general idea, I write that down. But I also, if a scene suddenly comes comes to me, I write down the whole thing. And I think that's really important because when these things come to you, you can end up totally losing them if you don't write them down. Even if they're like a really big deal in your head and you're really excited about them and you're sure you'll never forget them, there's a strong chance you could. You can actually do this for multiple works at a time. It does not just have to be your main work and one backup. I do this all the time. I have, like I've mentioned before, I have a 15 year publishing plan. And so I take notes on everything. I have all kinds of notebooks. I have lots of Pinterest boards, but I have all kinds of notebooks dedicated to different works and I'll write down anything at all that comes to me. And sometimes I will have to take a break from the big work I'm working on at the moment because like I said, I might get a little demotivated, a little bit low about it just because it's taking too long or something and then move on to something else just temporarily. But as I said before, the most important thing is that you don't lose that main work and you are able to publish it. Now, if you find that that main work, you're really losing motivation and when you come back to it, you're really just not interested in it anymore. 
like beyond not being motivated. It's into, I'm not sure if this is even a good idea. Something you may want to do is try reworking it, try changing something major about it. You could always just put that to the side and say, all right, I'm not sure if I want to publish this anymore. Let me just put it to the side until I've got something good enough to put into it or until I come up with something that makes sense to keep it going. You know, so there are always those times that are possible where you just know that this work isn't worth working on at the moment. But really try hard not to do that because in my opinion, you know, and and what I have seen and what I have experienced, sometimes once that happens, it's tough to go back to that. And if you do that across multiple works, just make sure that you notice, you know, if you're if you're doing it across so many works that you're never going to finish anything, that's a big deal. And that's a matter of sometimes commitment or it's a matter of inspiration or it's a matter of trying to find a different way to work on, you know, long-term works. You have to be committed to something in order to finish it. So it's really important to be able to stick to something for a long time. Another thing that can help to keep you motivated is if you work on even smaller works at the same time as something bigger. Like if you're posting to social media, if you're posting poetry or haikus or flash fiction or something like that, you can finish that much, much faster than you can a novel, of course. And that can feel really good just to put up and to have something done, something to put out there on Goodreads, on your blog, on wherever. It doesn't have to be a formally published something. It can just be small somethings. I do this all the time on my Instagram. I have semi-daily, you know, it's just not every single day, but semi-daily haikus. And those haikus really keep me motivated because first of all, it's something I can finish in a short period of time. Sometimes I can write it in five minutes. Sometimes I take a day to think about it, but it's still something I have finished. So it's really an exciting thing for me. It's something I can put up immediately on Instagram, get some either feedback or people making positive comments or whatever, you know, and some people will use Wattpad for this. Some people will use their blog. It could be anything. So that's another way to work on multiple things that won't necessarily take your attention away from your main novel or novella or whatever it is you're working on. And the final way that I'm going to suggest is if you know you're working on a series, working ahead on another book can't really hurt. So if you're really, really stuck in your current novel, but you know that you've got three more to go, you may want to like sort of fast forward into the next one. And I have done this too. With Love's Bloom, which we published next year in 2017, I have definitely sat down sometimes and said, you know what, I'm just not feeling it right now with Lock and Key. So I'm just going to move on to Love's Bloom for the moment. And at least I'm getting something done ahead of time with the same series. So I'm still working towards that goal of completing the series. Mine is a collection, but a lot of people, most people I think write in series. That way you're still staying in the whole collection or series. You've still got that mindset. You've still got everything about it sort of adding up to the completion of that series or collection. And I think that can feel especially good because like I said, you are going to accomplish that goal and you're continually working towards it. So I hope that this advice helped you. Thank you for spending time with me as always. Please click like if you like this video and subscribe and I will be coming out with these videos every single weekend. Thanks again.